What's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ here again, and today I'm here to talk about the final and third tree traversal, and that is the post-order search. And the algorithm for the post-order search is very similar to the other algorithms I showed you in my other two videos of the in-order and pre-order search, except for now I, I get to the node, I put the node in the order of my algorithm at the end. So the post-order search works like this. It is you try left first, then right, and then the node. Let me make that an R look like a little bit more like than an R. And if you remember, let me just label this post. In order, in an in order search, you visit the node in the middle, and then L always comes before R. And then in a pre order search, you visit the node in the beginning, and then L comes before R in the last two remaining spaces, no matter where you put them. So as you can see, post refers to having the visiting the node last, as in post, you know, post game or anything. In order, the node is in the middle, that's how I like to think of it, and pre, N is in the beginning, pre, as in pre-game or something to that extent. I just wanted to illustrate that because that's how I easily remember all these tree traversals. So let's do let me do let me show you guys an example and just so you guys can get it a little bit better. So here we go. I'm gonna start at the root as all tree traversals do. And I'm at 50. So now that I go to now I'm at 50, I go, can I go left? Yes I can. So I go left. So now I'm at 25. And I go, I'm at 25. Can I go left? Yes I can. So I go left again and I'm at one. And, there, and now that I'm at one, I check, can I go left? No, I can't. Can I go right? No, I can't. Can I, go, can I get the node? Yes, I can. One is the first node that I visit. Then I run the algorithm again. Can I go left? No. Can I go right? No. Can I go to the node? Um, I've already been to the node, so I go back up. Now I'm at 25. Can I go left? No, I already visited the left subtree. Can I go right? Yes, I can. I go to 12. And 12, oops. 12, again, I can't go left, I can't go right, so I visit the node, I'm at 12. And 12, I've already visited, I've already tried that, so I can't go left, can't go right, go back to this node of 25. Uh, 25, I've visited the left subtree, and I've visited the right subtree, so I finally can visit node 25. And again, I run the algorithm again at node 25. I can't go left because I've already been there. I can't go right because I've already been there. So I and I've already visited 25. So I pop back up to 50. Again at 50, I check. Can I go left? No, I cannot because I already visited that left subtree of fit relative to 50. And can I go right? Yes, I can. So now I go right to 75. Now that I'm at 75, I check. Can I go left? Yes, I can. I go all the way to 62. Now that I'm at 62, I check, can I go left, can I go right? No, I cannot. So I'm at the node, and I visit the node. So 62 is the next node I visit. Now I go, I look at 62, can I go left? No, can I go right? No, can I, I've already visited the node, so I go back up to 75. At 75, I've already been left, but I can go right. So I go right to 100. And 100, there is nowhere to go except it, visit the node, as you've seen before. So I go to 100. Ooh. Then I go back up to 75. I've already visited the left and right subtrees, but I haven't visited yet, so the only option left is to visit the node. So I go to 75. And now lastly, I have the root because I finally visited all the subtrees of the root, the subtrees of the root, and so I am left with 50 at the end. Just as a note, in a post-order search, the root node will always be the last node visited. That is sort of a law. In pre-order, it is always the first. The root is always the first node visited, and in in-order, the the root node is always in the in the middle. It's not may not be exactly in the middle based on how your tree is structured or the even oddness of it. But there's no really need for it to be in the middle or anywhere else. Just know that it's in the middle, so you can correct yourself. So I hope you guys remember this pattern that I showed you guys remembering the pre-order and post-order searches and also the pre-order, in-order, and post-order. And also in this video link I will post a web link to an awesome website which takes to an awesome website which I take no credit for that takes you to a lot of awesome examples, even bigger trees of post-order, in-order, and pre-order traversals so you can really get it and play around with it and allows you to guess and practice a little bit more because 
And that's how you get good at anything. You're motivated and you practice a lot. But anyway, guys, feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great day.